Good job. Now let's find out. So, um, oh, he's came first. He's came already. He's learning. He's learning. Good. Good. Now, uh, forget about both of them. I want you to tap. Just tap. Yep. Tap first, yeah. Coffee cup. Okay, we'll do it one more. Coffee cup. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. So coffee is on, a le coffee is the Jack Russell. A co coffee is on what level right now? He's on a five. A five, yeah. Good, <laughs> good. And he, but he responds well. He yeah. responds well to a five. He's just learning what, what the tapping sensation means. Coffee is a dog that has bitten both owners. Am I right? That's right, yeah. Both owners. Pretty bad? He's broke skin. Broke skin. Bad enough. Yeah, bad enough he's broke skin. He left scars. Yeah, <laughs> and also he, guard, he guards, he guards things, he claims things, food doesn't food he? Yes. Yeah. So the collar is what is going to be able to stop all those behaviours. Yeah. Um, Hopefully. But 100% it will. <laughs> But um, we have to teach on the collar first. Right. So this is what we're doing here. And uh, Tia, it's Tia, isn't it? Tia, yes. Tia is, uh, is doing wonderful <laughs> with just food. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Tia, Tia is great. Um, okay, so what we're doing is we're using dad as a bit of a distraction, is in because when mom's got, mom's got food, what she's doing simply is applying a tap sensation um, at the lowest level the dog feels. Some dogs just get it straight away and they just come to you straight away. Like, I think she would get it straight away. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas he, he's a bit kerfuffled. He goes, right, what, what does it mean? I feel it, but where am I meant to go? So the leash is there just to provide a bit of direction. Mm -hmm. Okay? So the, the, the collar is to get the attention. Yeah. The leash is to provide direction. Yeah. And then when you get both those things, you give affection. Yeah. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so Dad, you're gonna call him back, see if he'll come. Coffee, coffee, come. Good job. Now forget about him. Okay, Mum, hold it for up to two. Release. Come. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I wish I'd filmed this actually, the unsure part. Yeah. Because it's real life, right? So <laughs> just four minutes ago, yeah. you tapped it and you just sat there going, I, didn't know what to do. I don't know what this means. Yeah. It's not that he was uncomfortable or in pain, or he just went, I've never, I don't know what this language is. I don't know what this is. He now he's starting to learn. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dad, call him back again. Coffee. Coffee, come. What you might need to do is in tight. There we go. Now forget. Well, by all means, in fact, give him, give him a bit. Yeah, you called him over. Good job, buddy. So the the obedient stuff, like the, the, the ugh, claiming stuff, like him, you know, just jumping up, the rule come. stuff in your house. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, well done. We work on that next, like the, you know, say you didn't want them jumping on you there or whatever. We can work on that in a minute. That's the, it's the easiest thing to do is to change that. So you, by all, any time you're doing it, he's thinking, remember up to two or three, there we go. Well done. So what we're doing here is, what Amory's doing here in particular is applying the pressure when the dog reacts, then you're releasing the pressure and flinging in the command. So you're not being vocal first. You have to wait till you see the reaction from the caller, then you're being vocal, okay? Because it's important that you, you know what level he's responding to because an exercise like this right now, if he didn't have the caller on, he would still do what you want him to, right? That's not what this is about. This is about teaching him what does this caller mean? Mm -hmm. So what it means is stop what you're doing and pay attention to mum, okay? So dad, one more time, let's Coffee. call him over, see if he'll come Coffee. over. Good job, buddy. Okay. So after Dad's given the food, okay, Dad, now ignore Mum whenever you like. Come, come. Yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Now what I'm loving is, look at his tail. Look at his just whole demeanour. You know, he's like, oh, I'm getting this. I jump between Dad and Mum, right? Okay, I'm getting this. So this is what the bulk of e-collar training is all about, is having this remote control to communicate with your dog, okay? But we have to set that foundation of what the, it means first, okay? And absolutely, if the dog then is going to try and claim the socks on the couch or lie on dad and then have a go at him or bark in the garden or all the other, uh, in the bed, he has a go in the bed. If, if, who is it that comes in? Somebody's mum comes in? 
Your mum comes in and he's oh, your mum comes in, did you and, and lying in the, lying in the yeah. bed and he starts growling and yeah. challenging. If we've already taught the foundation of the collar, you absolutely can can match that level that he goes to to go. Hey, we don't do that. Do this instead. Yeah. Okay. So it's right. It's either the collar is either used for attention or correction. Oh, correction. Yeah. Then we can give direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that can be with vocal. Or right now it potentially was with the leash yeah. and then we give affection with with the food or just a tap on the head or whatever okay that's really really good make sense yeah. good job